welcome back to this defensive showdown. The Eagles come to the line. Of course, plenty of pink on the field today and in the stands as all of October will be seeing this for Breast Cancer Awareness Month in the NFL. LaShawn McCoy takes the handoff in on the stop. Second down coming up. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. Coming up at halftime, it's the Verizon Halftime Report. Second down. McCoy on the screen, swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Manage the football game. That's what you have to do as a quarterback. You're winning a close game in his third and long. Well, manage it. Know what to do. Don't force the play here. If it's not there, throw it away and just punt the football. Third down and 12. Unable to complete that one. And that's a very quick three and out. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. are getting set for their next possession. The Bears are at the line of scrimmage with a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. First and 10. Complete to Jeffrey. They'll need him this time behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. So they complete one and still it's second down. And Morgan's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Under fire on that throw. Well, we still got a close game here, and you got to try to keep it that way. It's third long, and you're losing the football game. Don't take a chance on the offensive side. Wait for your next opportunity. Third down and 11. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense at time. Johnson's tackled down at the 32. They come to the line of scrimmage in an excellent starting point. McCoy lines up in the backfield. First down and 10. Had it for a moment, but then lost it on the hit. This man was put on this defense for this reason alone. Make the big hits. Give your team some momentum and also put a little fear in the offensive players when they get the football. The Eagles from the 32. Has his target. And Williams is there to make the tackle. When you look at the numbers, it's interesting to see that the passing game just hasn't been there, but still they're winning the game. Almost always when the passing game is not working on the offensive side, it comes down to one position. No, it's not the quarterback. It's the offensive line. If they're having a great game, usually the quarterback and wide receivers, they'll follow suit. So the offensive line, they got to pick it up. That's a nice job by the offense there. Get the first down. Keep those chains moving. Give yourself three more opportunities. First and goal to go from the two. End zone bound, and he's got the touchdown. You know, if you're 
defensive player and you're covered. And we're going to have a stoppage here because the Boo wants to have a look at this potential touchdown. Touchdown is reviewed, and now confirmation the touchdown will stand. Nice job that time by the offense getting the first down inside the red zone. And it's a good thing they got a quarterback with a strong arm because you got to throw into some tight spots in the red zone. The Eagles going to be kicking it away now. Their offense took control with a very good starting field position following the very poor punt. And they made sure not to squander that opportunity and put points on the board exactly what you have to do in those situations. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. First down on the way. Offense lines up here. Matt Forte. And Lyons is there to take him down. That does it for the first half. Bears trailing this one. All right, Larry, thank you for that from the studios and halftime. We're going to transition now. We're about to get the third quarter underway. They won't recover the onside kick. The hands team does his job. The Eagles offense now coming out. Got a little jumpy there, Phil, and that's a five-yarder for encroachment. Yeah, I'd say he was a little bit jumpy. Everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We've got two running backs who are hoping for plenty of running lanes on the field today. It's McCoy's Eagles going up against Murray's Cowboys. So now let's go to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where Jim and Phil have the call. Back deep to return in his third season from Toledo is Damaris Johnson. Dan Bailey has it teed up for the opening kickoff. Here comes the Eagles offense, led by their quarterback, who had the best touchdown to interception ratio in NFL history a year ago, Nick Foles. Nick Foles was an outstanding last year for the Philadelphia Eagles. He was great. How about this? I've never heard such a stat. 27 touchdowns, two interceptions. Chip Kelly found himself a quarterback. Jeremy Macklin is a threat on the outside for the Philadelphia Eagles. Jim, they need Jeremy Macklin to stay healthy because when healthy, 
He's one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Carr nearly came away with the pick. As we set now the defense, it'll be calling on a number of times today, cornerback Brandon Carr. Every team on the defensive side needs a corner that can match up against the other team's best wide receiver. That man today is Brandon Carr. Makes the play, and Claiborne's there to make the tackle. Nick Bowles. What a quarterback he's become in this league. Yeah, underrated, underpublicized, no doubt, but I call him the big smooth because he makes it look easy. And that throw that time, even though it's far down the field, no effort on his part. What a job. After the long game, let's see what they do here. And Matthews has got the grab on the touch pass. Well, this early in the game to watch the opposing offense march down the field and get inside the 20. This keeps the defense, uh, they might be shaking a little, but if they stop them here to a field goal try or worse, that'll get their confidence back. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Almost intercepted. Well, the defense has to be depressed after that play because when you get a chance to get off the field, get a turnover, and get the offense off the field, man, you got to take advantage of situations like that. McCoy lines up in the backfield. And no one is going to catch this one as it goes out of bounds. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Offense lines up here. Dropping back three. He'll fire it out to the left. Cooper's tackled down after a gain of seven. Cooper's one of the best route runners in the NFL, and he showed it that time on the quick slant. The football is right on target. Nice, solid game, just short of the first down. You always want to be rewarded for a nice drive in a football game, even when it's a field goal, because you've made a lot of good plays, you've executed them, you got yourself in position to get some points, and that field goal just reinforces everything. The Cowboys are ready to run back this kick. Takes off from the five. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Coming onto the field for the Cowboys is their dynamic leader, Tony Romo, who was banged up for much of last season. But still, thanks to Romo's play, the Cowboys made a spirited run late in the year for a playoff berth. Well, I'm kind of sick of hearing about all the how would Tony Romo do in the playoffs. You know, let's don't worry about the playoffs. What he's doing now is a lot of good stuff. This guy can throw with anybody in the NFL. The Dallas Cowboys running back, he's a good one, as long as he can stay healthy, DeMarco Murray. Yeah, that's right. He kind of overcomes an offensive line that's not that good. He did last year. So DeMarco Murray, you said it all. If he stays healthy, he can be a star. Harris is able to find some room to run once he gets that wide receiver screen. And oh my gosh, how do wide receivers love these plays? First off, it guarantees them a catch, and then they get out there in the open space and try to make it happen. He sure did that time. Tackle down at the 42-yard line. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. Second and four. Intercepted. Space to work. He stacked up at that point. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Macklin's lined up in the slot. Brent Selleck makes the catch. Dragged to the ground. Looks like he's still about a yard short of the first. The Eagles offensive coordinator does a good job that time calling the pass down here in the red zone. Caught the defense off guard. They got the completion for a good game. Offense lines up here. He was looking short, but the pass falls incomplete. 
That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. The defense did everything right in that situation. They were in the right spot. They were smart. They read the quarterback's eyes, but they dropped the pass. You got to take advantage of good field position. The offense doesn't do it that time. I know they get three points out of it. Nice kick, but still a letdown for the offense. Henry ready for the kickoff. He's got a chance to return this one. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20 yard line. First down, offense ready for the snap. Witten set now, split out wide to the left. Romo's got it in the gun. He's wide open for the grab. What's the old expression? Just move the chains. That's what they did with that throw and catch that time, Jim. It also gives them a chance for three more downs. Romo has everybody split out wide for this snap. And there's Witten. The defense thinks they have the guys to play man-to-man -man coverage down the field. Well, they didn't that time. The receiver made a nice little move, gets open, and a good throw by the quarterback. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. A big chunk of yardage gained by DeMarco Murray. Murray is a guy, anytime he gets a chance to get into secondary and make a big play, he thinks he's going to take it for a touchdown. Not this time. It's a big run, but still well done. Murray lined up in the backfield. First and ten. Looks but can't connect on the short throw. Man, the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. The Cowboys get a first down. Well, when you play this type of defense where you play cover three, in other words, you have three defenders playing one in the middle, one right, and one left. Well, the weakness of that defense is going to be underneath. So slant patterns, they're pretty easy against this cover three. The Cowboys doing their part to spread breast cancer awareness this month in the NFL. Plenty of pink on their uniforms today and throughout the stadium. The Cowboys take it from the 23, and he hauls it in. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. That was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. From the gun, Romo. Tony Romo hits Jason Witten with that pass. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Second and six. Looking across the middle, Murray's brought down after picking up six on this play. The Cowboys had a nice play designed that time. It pulled the defense, and they get the pass completion for a nice pickup. A little jumpy there by that defensive front. And 
that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. This has been a long drive so far. Second and goal from the six. They're going to get him here for a sack. Half time, two minutes away. It's third and 12 here after the sack. Play after play after play here on this drive. They send the tight end in motion. Romo stepping back into the shotgun. And he's taken down once more for the sack. Well, good job that time by the defense. They catch the offense off guard. And they send more guys than the offensive line can block. When you're outnumbered, it's up to the quarterback to get rid of the football. He does it, and he takes the sack. The kick is good. That was a good hold, good kick, three points. Good job by the offense. to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. They face first down. Split backfield here. Nick Foles from the shotgun. Launching it deep. Almost intercepted. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted and the guy dropped it. You just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? It sprolls in the backfield. Second down and 10. Out to the left. As his target gets about nine on the play. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down. But I promise you, Third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. Third down and two. Underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Usually in a situation like this, third and short, the advantage goes to the offense because they can run or throw it. Well, they throw it. It doesn't work. Give a lot of credit to the defense. Harris is tackled down after a gain of five. First down here. Romo set, empty backfield. From the gun, looking to the right side and throwing. And the throw is incomplete. Second down coming up. Harris lined up now as a slot receiver. Romo's back in shotgun formation. Williams is going to pull in the bullet pass. The Cowboys signal for the timeout. And that's the first one they've used. The offense has had time now to game plan, strategize after the timeout, and now they're ready to go. DeMarco Murray is in the backfield. First down at the 44. And looking underneath, this will go incomplete. And here we have second down. Nickel formation for the defense here. Got the completion. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. The Cowboys will use a timeout here. They'll talk it over before running a play on first down. Harris is in the slot. The Cowboys have it at the 44. Finds his mark. 